Let's see. <clears throat> Any time. I'm mute my phone. <laughs> yeah. Mute the phone. Mute the phone. Mute the phone. <clears throat> All right. So, hello everybody. We're here to play some games on the Super Nintendo Mini. This little guy right here. That little guy. Bitty bitty. Now I've got the I've got this one and I've also got the Super Famicom Mini as well. Uh, Cuz I always like the box art on the Super Famicom Mini and it's kind of cool looking anyway. I thought it'd be kind of nice to have both versions of these little mini consoles. I did the same thing with the Super NES. I got both of those, the uh, Super Fam the uh, Famicom Mini and the NES Mini. So, so far, who have we here? We have, well, wait a minute. We have RK back. I'm back. He's you back. me into it. Here I am. <laughs> He's going to be helping me go through the comments as I, I'm playing the games and everything. I'm going to try. So, so far we have Cannabis Kid. Hey, Stephen Burkhardt's here. Golden Phone. Uh-oh. I'm going to botch this name. Phonogram. Thank you. Golden Phonogram. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Willie's brain and tongue have a disconnect. Uh, he's not going to enter the contest, which is fine, because he already has he already have a, an original Super Nintendo. But that, that's cool. That's cool. It's no problem. Uh, CGM February is here. Awesome. Hey, the Atari Creep. Yay. Who just found a derelict PS3 on the curb. On the curb. Yeah, nice. I guess it was on the curb. He took a picture, posted it, saying, you know, he found this. It looks like it's on the curb. And it works. Wow. So that's freaking awesome. That's the one that's backwards compatible. That's my favorite PS3. That's what I've got. I've actually had to repair it twice. I've had the Blu-ray Blu uh, drive go bad in it twice. So I've replaced it twice now. <laughs> It's a good little machine. I love playing my PS1 and PS2 games on the big screen in the front room. Just have that one console hooked up to the HDMI. It makes it really, really great. I just wish I could stream off of it. That'd be great. We got. I'm, I'm killing a little bit of time to get a lot of people in here because part of the contest I'm going to be doing requires you to be on the stream from the beginning and almost to the end in order to win... The Super Nintendo Mini. This picture tried above my head. And you're going to sign it, right? If they want me to sign it, I'll sign it. But otherwise, no. Uh, hey, Lord Maxim's here. The Wombler's here. Super Brett Smith is here. Yeah, Super Brett Smith. I, I've changed doing my streams now to 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Because I was getting a whole lot of uh, viewers from the uh, UK... That were wanting to participate in my streams but it's it was too late for them it was like three o'clock in the morning or something over there so i thought it'd be kind of nice to try to accommodate more viewers by streaming in the late afternoon so i grab them in the evening grab the u.s ones you know midday towards late afternoon and hawaii would be early in the morning out there so i, I was trying to cover as many people as i could simon blue Speak of the devil, that's one of the UK viewers right there, Simon Blue. I'm sure he appreciates not staying up at 3 o'clock in the morning. Now we have Chow Izzar here, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, Jake Fisher's here, and Jinsky is here. All right, so let's go over the contest rules for the mini up here. Now you're going to notice down here, bottom of the screen, there's an email address. That's the email address for the Arcade USA, you know, channel. I don't really advertise it very much. I'm bad about promoting this this show to begin with. But that email is very important because you're going to need it in order to win this Super Nintendo Mini. And the way this is going to work, where you see this box up here above my head, you'll see a picture up here that's from a favorite game of mine on the Super Nintendo system. I picked my top five games that I really enjoy in the system. A few of these I've talked about before on different podcasts. Uh, if you've listened to like the, uh, the one by my buddy uh, Soul Blazer, who does the Super Nintendo podcast or something like that, SDS podcast. I've been on there a couple of times and I've talked about a favorite game, which is in this list. 
and a few other a few other places I've talked about my favorite games on the Super Nintendo. So <clears throat> right now I'll show you how it works. I'm gonna put the first clue up here so you see how it's going to appear. So here's the first clue for the very first game. So what you want to do is write down these games as they come up. And then when I do the very last clue, you'll need to send that to me immediately an email that list of five games. It'll come in live on my cell phone so I can show everybody live who just won the Super Nintendo Mini. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Willie, can I just um, mention that uh, be very... I don't, you know, what if somebody writes down the character instead of the game? Does that count? No, it's got to be the game name. It's got to be, okay, just, yeah. you know, just want to make sure that was clear. It has to be the name of the game. Jinx doesn't um, see the email? Can you see the email? RK? What, what email? The one at the very bottom of the screen. Over there. Yes, arcadeusa76 at gmail.com. Huh. That's kind of odd that Jinx don't see it. Anyway, the email is arcadeusa76 at gmail.com. It's all lowercase. Yeah, it's right under the screen. Yeah, it's right underneath the play, the play screen. Right. Down over there. All righty. So I got to show the very first clue. So here's the first clue. So you'll see it appears up here. So I'll leave it up there for a couple minutes or so. Let's get over here. <laughs> okay, so uh, Jinxie sees it now. <laughs> He's like, oh, on screen, duh. Oh, there it is. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> We've all had days. <laughs> oh, man. Quite all right. Quite all right. We've 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 all had those kind of days. I have one every day. <laughs> I'm going to start off with a really fun game. I want to start off with Super Mario Kart. I love this game. Go back to it. Get over there. Super Mario Kart. Hit the wrong button. Super Mario. Now, the reason why it's so blown up on my screen is because I wanted the game screen to be centered in there. The actual game selection screen is like widescreen. I didn't like how small it had to be to get everything on there. So that's why it's blowing up so much there it is you know that picture that picture of pennywise is freaking me out yeah <laughs> so that that's the first clue right there i'm getting ready to get rid of it so hopefully you know if anybody comes in after this you may not want to tell them what the first clue was because you got to watch the entire stream to win so super mario kart here we go this is a fun racing game i love this game let's do the gp We'll do the bigger one, 100 CC. Oh yeah. Okay, who should I pick? Should I do Toad? I'll do Toad. Yep. Let's do. I've only played this on the 3DS. Yeah. Oh, it's a great game. Yeah. My favorite version of this game is on the Nintendo 64. Oh my gosh, I am so addicted to that game on the Nintendo 64. Go, you little mushroom freak! I do remember my kid playing this a lot. I remember him. I remember sitting behind him watching him play this. Oh, it's a great game. <clears throat> yeah. I'm terrible at it, but it's such a great game. Oh my gosh, he slides everywhere. I'm in last place. So good. Oh man, it's already lap two, and I'm in last place still. There we go. Oh no, no, about the track. Oh no! I can't drive worth a darn. Eugenio's here. He says, "Hey guys." Hey Eugenio. Lord Maxon says this, is a, this for the longest time. This was the only Mario Kart he had ever played. Yeah. It's probably the one of the best versions. It's good. Like I said, my favorite's the Nintendo 64. But this one's uh, really good. Cannabis Kid is. Uh, saying that he came across probably the only gaming accessory that you, really would never use. Uh-oh, what's, what's that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, man, it's a final lap, and I'm in last place. Come on. 
Get going. Oh my gosh, I can't drive with the dog. He says, he says an organization called Able Gaming made a converter box that allows people in wheelchairs to use their wheelchair control control stick to, to uh, operate the game. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that is. I ranked out. Retro Stew is saying hello to you, Willie. Hey, Retro Stew. How's it going, man? I am oh, driving Eugenia. badly. Eugenio says he can't stay long. Well, well let us know right. when you do leave, Eugenio. So we can oh, say goodbye. Oh, yeah. Simon Blue says, very nice of you, Willie, to have 1,600 EST streams. Yeah, 4 o'clock streams, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time streams. Yeah, I, I had a lot of a lot of my UK viewers contact me, begging me to do that. Rob Swab, you are not invisible. We see you. He says he must be invisible here. No. No. You're not. What's on your mind? Tim says you can use the hump button when taking hard turns to help with a smoother turn. The what button? Well, he says hump button, but, you know, who hump knows? button? I don't what the know. heck is that? I don't know. I barely know the guy. I, I got a jump. I got a jump button here. <laughs> Wee. Oh, Brad I'm Dahl's, all over the road. Brad Dahl says he, uh, he'll he never forget the April Fool's joke in Nintendo Power of this Mario Kart on <clears throat> um, the original Game Boy. Well, we had to wait till GBA, but I got way too excited at the time. The jump button. Oh, Home the button. jump it was, button. It was a misspelling. The jump button. The jump button. Oh, that makes more sense. Hump button is okay. You know, honey, I'll, this is I've a never family played friendly this. show. I've never played the. Yeah, I've never played this game on the Super Nintendo. I've only played it on the 3DS. Uh, Jake Fisher wants to know, Willie, what your favorite Mario Kart game is. What version? Oh, the Nintendo 64. The N64. Oh my gosh, yeah. If I ever stream the N64, I'll probably play Living Daylights out of that game on there. <laughs> and then Lord Max says you can try the right bumper. Right bumper. Okay, I'll try. I'll try the. I'll try that out on this next race. And Simon Blue says he spent hours on Mario Kart Battle Mode with mates until the early hours. That must have been fun. Oh yeah. Nothing like playing online when you're punchy, you know. Yeah. And maybe a little hungover. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Jinx, he says he thinks the hump button is on a more adult version of this game. <laughs> Eduardo says, notice any input lag here? No. I'm not. Well, yeah, at least you're not in last place anymore, Willie. You're, you're, you're fighting it out for second to the last place. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, Mario. Ah. Oh. I think that was Luigi. Oh, okay, how was Mario? You, <laughs> I forget about the um, the time delay that I have to see. That's right. By the way, well, at least I'm moving up in the field. That's something. Oh, Simon Blue says that was back in the day. Nine people all in the same room on a 21-inch CRT TV. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> And then Lord Maxon says, also, you can switch to tapping the gas in turns to keep from slipping. Oh, I like these little hints, man. <laughs> yeah, no, they, they. Uh, Tim says, the bigger the character you choose to drive, the heavier ones take turns slower, but less chance of spinning out. Oh, really? That, that's oh. interesting. Charlie Jordan wants to know, uh, hey there, what's your favorite mini? Favorite? Oh, the little game and watches? I think he's like you're on, you're playing a mini now. He's talking about any of the minis that have come out. Oh, my favorite's the TurboGrafx-16 mini. The one that you played last week. Yeah, I love that one. Well, hello there, tipster. Well, hey, Robert's here. That's cool. I like watching his uh, his news. Mm -hmm. He's one of my favorite YouTubers to watch. <laughs> We have a couple of YouTubers on here that I watch. Yeah. You know, I also watch the Atari Creep. Oh, yeah. Chris is a lot of fun to watch. Chris is fun, yeah. Yes, he is. <clears throat> and he does models like you do. Tim says it lagged when Willie said the giveaway rules. He missed it. 
what do we have to email? Well, you have to email, you have to write down a list of the pictures of, from the games that are going to appear above Willie's head. And it has to be the name of the game. And then at the end, you're going to use that email address that's under the screen. And the first person who gets their email to Willie wins the mini. Yep. Tipster says the Turbo Mini is easily the best one. Oh, yeah, I love that thing. And Chris, you have a fan with Simon Blue because he says Atari Creep Rocks, but you knew that. You could read that. <laughs> I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just sharing it with Willie. <laughs> um, Jinxie says, I never saw the TG Mini in stores. I guess the gougers snatched them up, which, you know, is typical. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. Oh! Donkey Kong, you son of a... Oh, I got shrunk. I'm a mini mini. Oh, he squished me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I went from first to last place. That is so bad. I was doing pretty good. Galloway, Galloway. Five. I was doing so good. Okay, let's play. We'll play a different game. <laughs> you got Star Fox. You have, you have a version of Star Fox on there. Yeah, I've also got Star Fox and Star Fox Two, the unreleased one. Star Fox is another one that I played on the uh, 3DS. Yeah. yeah, Star Fox is really good. Time for another picture here. So here's the next picture, right there above my head. That's from the cover of one of my favorite games on the Super Nintendo. I'll leave it there for a minute or two. Star Fox is good. It's got a great intro. Star Fox. <laughs> Start. Okay, what's control A? Boost, Nova Bomb, Break, Blaster, Roll. Yeah, I think I can deal with that. That's fine. Let's go play the game. What the heck? <laughs> Alright, picture's going away. Boop. Terrible shot. <laughs> yeah, uh, Jinxie says like he wonders if they'll ever release a version of Star Fox with improved animation. He understands they maxed out the SNES to run the game. Tipster says it would be nice if we could get a version with a better frame rate. Oh yeah, it would be. And um, it's, it's just fun watching this. Ooh. 
Oh, oh, coming through. Ow, ouch. Oh, dude. Ah. <laughs> Oops. You know what? I didn't play this on the 3DS. I just played this on the DS. And on the DS, nice to play. It's a pretty fun game. It's a nice shooter. Yeah, I really liked it. Get the robots! Oh, they get the robots. Ooh. <clears throat> Ooh. Ooh. Alpha Omega Creation says hello, everyone. Hey, Alpha Omega. Whoa. Put it out, put it out. Oh, no, go that way. Oh, oh shoot, oh, shoot. There we go. Gotcha. <laughs> Dinosaur Prince says hello, Willie. Hey, Dinosaur Prince. Definitely makes it easier to uh, play the game when I got someone who can read the comments. <laughs> I mean, oh, so I have a stupid question: Was the Star Fox on the twenty six hundred this game? No, no, it's just the same name, but it's no, the same no, name. no, no relation, right? No, no relation. I didn't think so, but you know, I mean, they did Halo on the twenty six hundred, so I, yeah, I had to, I had to ask. <laughs> Ah! Whoa. Oops. <laughs> it went down in flames. Stage one. Oof. About and I'm dead. <laughs> ah, rats. All right, I'm changing. Changing games. For the flight controls, Charlie Jordan wants to know. Flight controls? Well, you can select like four different ones. Use the D-pad to move around. It depends on how you select to use the... All the little buttons here for bombs and fire and all that other stuff. <sighs> so that was that was the first Star Fox. Is there a second Star Fox? Yeah, there's an unreleased one on here. Ooh. This one, Star Fox Two. Oh, darn it! Keep hitting the wrong button. There we go. Oh, clear stage one and start. I, I haven't played this to unlock it. Um. <laughs> Willie, why don't you why don't you read the um, the, the text uh, over there? Oh. There's a message there for you from Tipster. Tipster writes, "Gonna head out, but I want to support my dear friend Willie. If you can, buddy, stop by my charity stream tonight on Twitch. What time is it? <laughs> I'll definitely stop by if I if you let me know what time it is. I'll, I'll just keep checking back to find it. 
It's kind of cool. He's doing a charity stream. I'll see what he's doing. Yeah. Okay, that's kind of cool. I need to do that sometime. Like Extra Life or something like that. Uh, I was playing another one of my favorite games on here. Contra 3. The Alien Wars. But first, another picture. Another picture. Another picture. Well, here's the next one. Right here. Leave it up for a little bit. So Tips just says it's 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So I think he's three hours behind me, so that'd be 7 p.m. my time. So cool. AD 2636. I love Contra. It's such a great series. So much fun. One player. Let's see what the options we have here. What kind of options we have? Players three. I get seven. Ooh, seven, yeah. Level easy. <laughs> <laughs> Level willy. That's that's the willy mode. <laughs> yeah, they didn't have any teddy bears on Nintendo. <laughs> no, no teddy bears on the Nintendo. All right, so that picture's getting ready to go away, so make sure you write down this one. That's the third one. All right. And let's start this pig. Okay. Marky. Okay. There's fire. It's duck. Shoot up. Jump. Okay. I'm good. Ha 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 ha. Give me that. Give me that. Ha ha. Creep said that he loved that game. Uh, the one in your hint, but he prefers the Genesis port, but he's not going to ruin what game it is. <laughs> yeah, I prefer the Genesis port too, but it is one of the ones I like on here. And Eugenio says, it's okay, Willie. Easy is his mode for some of these games. Ooh, ooh. Ow! Oh! Oh! And remind us, Willie, how many games are you doing? Five or ten? Five. Five games. Five games. That was, that was number three I just showed. I've got two more to do. This is one of the reasons why I bought the Super Nintendo Mini, because I had this game on here. I love this game. It's so much fun. But it's not one of my top five, though, so don't worry about that. Ooh. So Tim K says was always so hard to get the right shooting angle in this game. Yeah, that's the problem I have too, Tim. Basically, just playing the game is part of my problem. <laughs> <laughs> I am so bad at video games, but I really enjoy playing them. Get up in there. I think that's most of us. I, mean, I don't think Fear everybody is good at every game. This is my take. I'm gonna shoot you. Run you over. Atari Creep says Contra tricks you with that easy mode, but in reality, it's a false hope. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. It definitely is. Ooh, they're throwing stuff at me now. Take that building. Ooh, run them over. Ooh, oh, they got me. Oh, they got me again. Oh, they got me again. Dang. The bomb. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Ooh, yeah. Jump. Jump. Ah. Ah. The way the buildings collapse kind of reminds me of Rampage a little bit. Snarcast says not to mention you can't get the true ending on easy mode. It's bait and switch. Yeah, I don't have to worry about that because I can't get to the ending anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it don't matter to me. This is a game I like to play. I just feel like blowing stuff up. Yeah, okay. Tim 
Okay, Jay says, do you have Yoshi's Island underrated Mario game, although it's only baby Mario in the same I think yes. it's on here. Not for sure, if it is or not. Doc, you crazy fool! Where are you? You holding this? Yeah, I like those. Jay Fisher says, use the Konami code. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's what I need to do. Use Konami code. Did they ever come out with the, like, toy tie-ins for this? There's some cool vehicles and uh, action figures that could be made for this game. That's what I know. No Swear Gamer is here. He says that baby just won't stop crying. No. Nope. Hey, Phil. How's it going, man? Snarkast does say Yoshi's Island is on the SNES Mini. I never really played that game. Ah! Oh, shoot. Oh! Zooms in. Hey Phil, no swear gamer says, "Hey Willie, doing well? Hey Creep, RK, RK and all." I can't even pronounce the name. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> uh, how you doing, Phil? Ooh, bugs. Ah, rats. <laughs> I never can get very far in this crazy game. Time for another one. Yes, yeah, so here's Zoshi Island right there. Oh, what the heck? Let's give it a try. I really Mr. Played this game. C. R. Smith is playing Super Mario World right now. Oh, my wife likes Super Mario World a lot. Yoshi's Island. Yoshi's Island. Welcome I, to Yoshi's Island. I remember Island. that a long time ago. Yeah. I remember it, but I've, I've not really played it. No, I've never played it. But I remember it. But it's got Baby Mario! Yeah. Little Mario! Wake up. Okay, I don't want to read, I want to play. <laughs> I am a very impatient Willy. Yes, I know you're all happy. Let's just, let's just go play the game now. Go play the game. Yeah. Charlie Jordan says the SNES will never die. Yeah. Probably one of the better systems that have come out. Oh, era. yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Let's jump. That's my thing. Let's do the kick thing. Okay, what's this button do up there? Okay. Okay, I'm good. And I think they kept the life going by really kind of bringing in 3D or pseudo 3D or whatever. Um, as the N64 was coming out and other consoles were coming out, they kept the SNES, they, they kept the Super Nintendo alive. Oh, yeah. By, um, by ramping up the games for the system. They come up with some really great games for the system, that's for sure. Some very unique titles. <laughs> no, no square gamer says so Baby Mario is so cute until he opens his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, wow. Tim, shooting eggs. And Cannab Cannabis Kid says there is a website that is dedicated to hacking Super Mario World. A whole oh, website really? dedicated to hacking the world. Oh, that's cool. Mario Boring. World is not enough. Nope. Boring. <laughs> yeah. Snodcast says he cries to the point where he says, screw it, take him away. Take him away. <laughs> Just take the kid. Hey, let's make some eggs. Throw eggs. Cool. Making eggs. Okay. Yes. 
No Swear Gamer says Donkey Kong Country had amazing graphics and helped keep the SNES alive. I totally agree, and that was the game I had in mind. That game was incredible. It was pseudo 3D, but ah. man, it pushed it. Come back here. Come back here. Making an egg. Boop. Got two eggs. Let's make another egg. I like the sound when he eats them. <laughs> oh! Shoot. Oh, shoot. Come back here. Okay, Eugenia was leaving. Says, all right, guys, I need to leave. Watching these is always fun. You take you take it easy, Eugenia. Stay Catch safe. you later. That's interesting. Cannabis Kid says the last game ever officially released for the SNES was the port of Frogger. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Jake Fisher says, speaking of Donkey Kong Country, I think Yoshi's Island would have had 3D graphics instead of the cartoony graphics that we are familiar with. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Mr. C. A. Smith says, I think Yoshi's Island on the SNES is fun to play, just not as fun as Super Mario World. Yeah, that's a pretty cool game. Enough of that. Terry <laughs> Creep says, every time I hear Baby Mario cry, it reminds me of that one Sega does commercial. Oh, yeah. Okay, here is the next game. Number four. Right there. Write down what that one is. Ziggy7800 Pro says that was close, Bill. Yeah. And it's... Tim wanted you to shoot the question mark, but I guess. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. Oh, well. Next time. Next time. Okay, let's play. Let's see what I'll play here. Ah, and there's a new picture up there over your head. Yep, that's the new picture. So write that down. This is number four. Number four, yes. <clears throat> number four. Tommy K says Nintendo 64 Classic should be next. Oh, yeah, definitely. We'll play some Castlevania. Hmm. Castlevania 4. Oh, yeah. Oh, got an option. What's the option? What do we got? I love the sounds of this. Jump is B. Whip is Y. Okay. Item is R. Where's R? Oh, it's up there. Okay. All right. That's cool. I'm good. Start. I don't want to hear my name. Let's do this. Ah! Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. Whack. Whack. Jake Fisher wants to know, uh, when we write down your top five SNES games, do we have to write them in order? No. No. Any order. As long as you get the five in there. And then you will tell everybody when to send the email, or do yeah, people... Well, 
as soon as they see the last picture up, if they have, if they know what it is, they write it down quick and email me, that's, that's who's going to win. Whack. I like the whip. Whack. I like how the skeletons just blow up. Atari Creep says one of his all-time favorite games, everything he could ever ask for, is in Super Castlevania 4. Yeah, it's it's a really good game. Oh! I didn't see the bat! It's another bat, RK. <laughs> yeah. The bane of my existence, the bat. I know, they get such a bad rap in video games. Whack, whack, whack! <laughs> Whoa! He's throwing his bones at me. Yeah, walk over here. Come on. Whoa, shoot. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm gonna get up there. I'm coming for you, skeleton dude. Whack. Whack. <laughs> That's right, Phil. Fast driving game is crazy. It's just adventure. <laughs> Absolutely. Evil bats. Tim says Castle Banks are some of the best sounds and baddies. Love these games. Yeah. One of my favorite Castlevania games is Symphony of the Night on the PlayStation. That is really good. Brad Dahl says, It's been a real treat to play Rondo of Blood on the TG Mini. Worth the price alone. I need to play through this sometime, too. I was a Genesis kid and loved Bloodlines as well. Yeah, Bloodlines is really good. I like that one. Jake Fisher says, Willie, what's your honest opinion on Castlevania 2? It's a flawed game and not the best one, but what are your thoughts on the game itself? You know... I've not really played Castlevania 2. I played the original Castlevania on the uh, Nintendo, but I'm going to play Castlevania 2. Oh, I missed the freaking swing thing. Oh, of course it puts it all the way back down here again. Whack, 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 whack. There we go. Oh, Mr. Skeleton. There we go. Got a better whip. Got some money. Oh, yeah. It's got some good music. Yeah. You freaking bat. You take a petition. No more bats in video games. swinging mechanic. That is cool. I'll take your word for it. I'm a few seconds behind. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh! I fell off in the exact same place again. Daggone it. Okay, there. I just saw your swing. <laughs> And I just saw you fall off. Yeah. So that, that's how far behind I am. In the exact same place. Yep. Ooh. Oh, 
Oh. Ow. Oh, give me some hearts. Let's go. See if I get by this one spot. <laughs> so far, I've not been able to get by it. There we go. It's so quiet in here, we're just watching you play. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, there's no activity, it's just so quiet. It's just so quiet. Um, Chal Ezor just uh, wrote, there was truly something special about the 16-bit era of gaming. Awesome stuff. You know, I think that's what has us all sort of captivated. We're so used to slick graphics and everything these days that we're just kind of in awe of this, you know? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's a lot of artwork. Yeah, it is. A lot of great that's artwork. A lot of programming. All right, Mr. Skeleton, you got to go. There we go. Ooh, money. Ooh. Tim K says anticipation for game five is killing him. <laughs> <laughs> game number five. I, I think that's why I'm quiet. They're just like, what is he going to put up there next? What's going to be next? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up and finish screwing around. Hurry up and lose, will you? And just post up the game. <laughs> Why it's just so quiet. Post the game, <laughs> Willie. Everybody's just sitting there perched, ready to type and send. <laughs> yeah, matter of fact, we're in the last 15 minutes of the stream, so it's going to come up here real soon. As soon as I die again, I'll be changing games. And I just died. <laughs> Nighthawk said 16 bit games had better cover art, in his opinion. Okay, guys. Here comes the, here comes the very last game. So get ready to send that email. And I've got my, my cell phone ready. So as somebody sends the email with all five games, it's going to appear instantly on here. And we'll be able to see who won right off the bat. So here we go. So here's the very last game. It's going to appear right here. And there it is. That's not it. Sorry. This one. That one. <laughs> that one. Sorry. That one. <laughs> that one. That's the last game. <sighs> so let's see who gets that email. The email, remember, is right down over there. Arcade USA, lowercase 76 at gmail.com. See, I, I just saw the picture because I'm, what, 20, 30 seconds behind? Atari Creep says it's quiet because he's also playing guitar as he watches. I have no clue what game two was, so he will not be well, to, waiting to send an email. Well, we just had an email pop in. Okay. And it's Phil the No Swear Gamer. Way to go, Phil. Yeah, right there he is. Dang. That was, that was fast, Phil. I got emails coming in like crazy. Uh, yeah, I think everybody pretty much sent them pretty close around the same time. Yeah. Yeah. 448. Wow. Wow. Mark and Phil Anderson sent it at 448. Phil came in right at like a split second before. So I already know Phil's address, so. <laughs> That's going to be real easy for me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what Phil said about this. He's got Mr. Do, Knights of the Round, Death Return, Super Ghoul, Super Mario Kart. Yep, that's right. He missed out on the Super Nintendo Mini when it first came out. So that's cool. Well, awesome. the, universe, the universe made up for it. Yes, it did. So now I'm going to play my last game, which was one of the ga one of the games on the list, Super Ghouls and Ghosts. So Tire Creep wants to know what number two was. That's the only one he could not get. Uh, number two was, I think that was Knights of the Round. 
that one there. Mr. Dew was first. Then Knights of the Round was second. So, yeah. If it's that one, Chris, that was Knights of the Round. I really wish they put that game on the Super Nintendo Mini. I, I may hack the one I have to put the game on there, but I haven't decided yet or not. Alright, let's play some Super Ghouls before we end the stream. Oh, option mode. Gotta go in the options. Let there be easy. Game level. Oh, yeah, game level. Beginner. I... I mean, so it'd be so much fun to have somebody hack one of these games. Just say game level Willy. <laughs> oh, Willy, nobody's here. Everybody left because the game was given away. This game's given away. Everybody's gone, man. <laughs> Everybody's gone. Screw Just you, Willy. We're out of here now, man. <laughs> Gave it away. Well, I was going to do it for the ten thousand subscriber special, but. It's going to be April or May before I get to that level because I'm only increasing like maybe 100 subscribers a month and I'm sitting at 94.52 right now. So I figure, you know, I'll just go ahead and do it now. It'll be something fun to do. It's, you know, coming up on the holidays. Oh, yeah, take my woman. <laughs> you blue wing freak. I love the music in this. <laughs> Phil says he's still here, but dinner dinner is at five. Well, you got ten minutes. <laughs> oh, you're your one, Phil, so you don't have to hang around anymore, man. <laughs> you met the criteria. After dinner, you could be playing these games yourself. Yeah, I don't think it's going to get there that quick. <laughs> no? Hey, quit popping up out of the ground. CGM Fed February says he's still here. There we go. Yeah, I was, oh. I was just joking. I can't actually tell if people are here. Well, there's still 20. Oh, somebody just left. <laughs> there was 28, now it's 27. <laughs> people are slipping away. <laughs> They're like, screw you. You gave the game away. We're out of here. <laughs> Boring! <laughs> Boring! <laughs> Alright, well, get over this freaking humpy thing here. This game cracks me up. Oh, it does me too. Oh! Hey, where'd I go? There I am. <laughs> I disappeared. Brad Dahl says it will go full, full circle when Phil does a show on the SNES Mini. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. That's actually very funny. <laughs> yeah, that would be hilarious. It's the circle of games. Yep. Final Boss Music says he showed up late, so he's staying till the bitter end. <laughs> <laughs> Let me out. Here we go. Ooh, the dog. Get, watch out for the dog. No. Oh, man. That was... Whoa, no. Fireball. Ah. Oh, man. I love this game, but I am so bad at it. I don't think I've ever rescued the girl. Well, so life imitates art, huh? Pretty much. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm already naked. I was robbed. Oh, and I died. Yeah. Luckily, it turns into a pile of bones. Maybe this just isn't your game, Willie. No. <laughs> and this is the beginner level. That's what's so bad. John Harbour says this game is awesome and infuriating at the same time. I, I love the art style of this yes, game. Yes, I do too. I think that's why I like it so much. That and the music, it just, it just entrances me. I'm really good at this game on my uh, Sega Genesis. Not so much the, the, 
And the music does go well with the art. Yes, it does. Zombie! Zombie! I like how the ground moves up and down. Ooh. <coughs> Did you just fall off the chair? No, I was drinking my uh, seltzer water. Oh, I, lo I like I like seltzer water. It was, uh, this isn't a commercial, but it was Poland Springs Orange. <laughs> Poland orange Springs jacket. Orange, when you have the taste of citrus with seltzer. Yes, with no sugar. And... Anyway. At your grocer's to... freezer. Back to the show. Back to the show. Oh, no, not you. Don't turn me into an old duck. There we go. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> that happened to me on the super uh i mean on the turbo graphics man yeah turned me to did. a duck did. Yeah. I was last week this. i hate those post things <laughs> Sorry, Creep says there are some games he will only play on his oh Necron Ami console, Ooh. and this is one of them. Ooh, give me that! Give me that! That's that fire stick. What that Necronami. stick? Ne Necronami console. Well, come on, give me the stick. There we go. Oh yeah. Ah, take that. And that. <laughs> I'm still struggling. <laughs> I didn't want that back. I like my fire steak. Well, Simon, I don't know. Simon Blue says, are we allowed to mention the election on this stream? It kind of time stamps uh, it a little bit. And no. we kind of keep this as like a departure from out there. And yeah. we just gave the official word. It's no. really stream. No, I don't talk politics or anything like that. I just want to escape from life and have fun for a while. Ooh, what was that? Ooh! Not a good that did did me. <laughs> I got a cool new weapon, and I couldn't use it. Uh, okay, like, like a ne Necronomicon from the Evil Dead, but it is a console. Okay, all right. All right. It took me a while to connect the dots. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I almost um, got that money bag. Shrinky the money bag. Cannabis Kid says, well, if you can find it, there's a hacked version of SNES uh, Death and Return of Superman that allows you to pick which character you want to use on each level. Oh, really? Well, that's cool. Brad Dahl says he might have to fire up some Princess Quest after seeing this on the old Coleco flashback. Yeah, Princess Quest, a homebrew. And yeah, good. okay, you know what, Phil? Good solution. Uh, no Square Gamer says, you are allowed to say if you voted for Sonic or Mario. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Team Sonic. Oh, I hate that freaking... There we go. Got, got rid of you. Pretty little doggy. You lurking up there. Oop. Oh, comes a fireball. Oh, comes another fireball. Come on, I want my armor back. Ooh. This me! But he got me. Team Sonic, says, says Atari Creep, and his running mate, Victorian. Victorian. <laughs> Only got two lives left. Yeah, Vectorman. Vectorman. Not Victorian, Vectorman. Oh, Vector I, gotta re I have to oh. read them as I see them, you know? Turn me to a baby. <laughs> Poor... Or TG sixteen and Bonk, always a third party. Oh, 
Ooh. I, I, I voted for Jeff. <laughs> voted for. Did you say Jeff or Jeff? <laughs> Jeff. Remember? Oh, peanut butter. Yeah, Skippy or Skippy Jeff. Skippy or Jeff. <laughs> and I voted for Coke. Coke or Pepsi? <laughs> yeah. Those are my big. Uh... Those, those are decisions that, that I don't mind making. Yeah. This thing just throws enemies at you like crazy. I like down underground, you can see the coffins and skulls. Oh. Goodbye, Phil. Phil's leaving. Have a good Have dinner. dinner. Congratulations. Oh, Atari Creep goes for Pepsi. I go for Coke. Actually, one of my favorite drinks is Mr. Pibb. Does that taste like Dr. Pepper? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. That's been one of my favorites, Mr. Pibb. You know what one of my favorites was? What? <laughs> I bet some people don't even know what it is. Fresca. Oh, I know what that is. Yeah, I've had that. Fresh. Yeah. And if, you, and if you want a nice drink sometime, Fresca with tequila. Oh! Yeah, it's really good. Whatever goes with Absinthe. Let's see if I get that money bag. Yep. <laughs> money, 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 money. Ooh, got the arrows again. She can't really aim with the darn. Brad Dahl says, Fago, Fago Rock and Rye. Ooh, Fago. That's another good one. So, uh, Chris, are you saying Fresco with a little gin? Because that's good, too. Cannabis Kids says over in Asia someplace they released a Bonk's Adventure arcade game. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, you would get in here at the last minute. <laughs> John Harbison's Someone bust out the Shastas. <laughs> oh, Shasta, yeah. Remember Shasta? Shasta Cola? I remember Shasta. <laughs> Looks like Royal Crown Cola. Oh, <laughs> Royal Crown, yeah. <laughs> Royal Crown Cola. Oh, man. Jeez, Willie, really, we, we, we need to do a uh, uh, Forgotten Soda uh, podcast. Well, I think there was some sodas that had, like, uh, toy promotions. That'd be kind of cool, I think, to talk about on the toy too. Some sort of said toy promotions. Toy, toy promotions. Really? I believe so. Yeah. Hmm. Tab is still around. Well, I didn't know that. I didn't either. My mom used to drink Tab all the time. Oh, I, I kind of remember drinking it, and then Diet Coke came out. And... That's okay, Simon. He says, a respect, Willie. He just wanted to ask first about the election. Uh, oh, that's awesome fine. stream. Thank you. No, fine. it's fine, really, because it's been on everybody's mind. Yeah. I remember New Coke Cannabis Kid, and I forgot it as soon as I tried it. <laughs> we shall not mention the, the, the no. Coke beverage that will not be named. No. <laughs> the Voldemort of Coke products. But I do remember Clear Pepsi. Remember Clear Pepsi? Yeah, I like Clear Pepsi. And they and, they, and uh, Van Halen licensed uh, licensed right now for the song for the commercial. Just south of me is the birthplace of Pepsi. You got a museum there. That's the actual uh, soda uh, the soda fountain. Wow. Yeah, it's a really cool place to go visit. Jake Fisher says, "Was there ever a drinking product of carrot juice starring Bugs Bunny?" No, there should have been. That would have been cool. That'd be a really cool tie-in. Man, I don't want that freaking bow and arrow over there. I gotta figure out a way to get over that thing. Uh oh, shoot that thing. See what's in the box. It's in the box. I don't want that. Yeah, I would love to see Crystal Pepsi come back, guys. Yeah. Harry Creep and Twisted, both. Um, Gave it to yeah. Me. 
I used to love Crystal Pepsi. Yeah, Crystal Pepsi's good. Yes, Ryan. I mentioned RC earlier. RC Royal Crown Cola. Royal Crown. Brad Dahl says they just had some throwback Kool-Aids come out. Purple Source Rex was one of them. We, oh, we, are, yeah. totally, we, are, we are totally off track here. Yes, we did. <laughs> Talking about Coke products and drinks, not video games. And, and, and you're fighting for your life here. Yes, I'm fighting for my life, and I've died. And all right. All a, we're all having a Coke and a smile, and you're uh, over there fighting. <laughs> End. End. There we go. All right. Well, it's been about an hour. So I'm really glad we had we had quite a few people. Uh, that was a pretty good pretty good time. Uh, congrats, yeah, and, congrats and to now, Phil for winning the Super Nintendo Mini. I have to get yes. that in the mail to him now. I just mailed him a box not too long ago. I guess I should have waited. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> and I'm thirsty. I want to go get a Coke. I want to get a Coke, man. I just want to go. Oh, yeah, I, I do need a nice drink after this, Brad. <laughs> so, we got to decide what should I stream next Saturday. So, some of the choices I have that I'm thinking about is uh, the Neo Geo X Gold. That has an HDMI output on it, so that'll be a real nice picture on there. It's got Metal Slug. I love Metal Slug. Uh, good night, Chris. Yeah, good night, Chris. Uh, see, another, another option I have would be possibly the GameCube or the Super, I mean, or the uh, Nintendo 64. Do that one. What else I got in here? Oh, I can stream off of uh, Sega Genesis. I might be able to do Sega Genesis. <clears throat> We're not getting any feedback yet. No, I'm just listing things off here. <laughs> I do have that C64 Mini in the box over there. I don't think I've ever streamed that. Well, you know. The Sega doesn't get much attention. I would say either the Sega or the um, C64. That's that's just my two cents. But, you know, leave it up to everybody else. Majority rules. Yeah, that's true. So That's just gonna... my, my two cents. Well, so far, Brad is saying 64. Mario Kart 64. Twisted EXC is saying 64. There's two 64s right there. I've got a ton of games for my Nintendo 64. I got a lot of them. Mini or the actual 64? The actual Nintendo 64. Then you have to track down Castles of Dr. Creep. <laughs> oh, no, no. The Mini, I'm sorry. I'm, I got Nintendo okay. 64 and C64 stuck okay. in my head. All right. All right, because when I had a Commodore back in the 80s, I was so hooked on the castles of Dr. Creep, and nobody ever seems to remember that but me. That game. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have an actual C64 because I don't really collect computers except for the one I had, the Atari 800, which that's another one I could live stream. I can live stream my Atari 800 XL because I got a ton of cartridges for it. Oh, that's a good one, too. Yeah, maybe. Good night, CGM February. Good night, CGM, CGM February is logging off. Yeah, maybe, maybe I could do that one. Do the, uh, the 800 computer. Play some of the would, games on it. I would like that because I think I'm acquiring one. Yeah. And I, I never had one. And I would like to get a uh, multi-cart for it. Yeah. I can I can use my multi-cart because I got that too. So you can see oh. what, what it looks like and how it works. Well, I, I think that would be great because I only have yeah. a Commodore back. And I never had a uh, Atari. Oh, I had an ST and a TT, but I never had an 8-bit. But I've got a couple. I've got a quite a few games on my Atari 800 that I really like in cartridge format, like uh, Castle Hassle, where you play a ghost and you're going through solving all these puzzles to get prizes. It's kind of like Venture and Haunted House combined. It's well, just, that sounds good. Oh, it's a really fun game. Willie, uh, off the top of your head, can you think of any games 
that are on both the Atari 5200 and the Atari 800 that don't look the same or well, are different. I think Galaxian looks different. You think Galaxian's a lot different? I think it is, and I think uh, Frogger Control's different. Yeah, well... I think I think centipede <laughs> I think centipede looks different too. Really? Yeah, I can't remember. But anyway, yeah, I think I'll do the Atari Hunter computer next weekend. I think that'd be a lot of fun. So until next time everyone. Thanks for watching.